Hey everybody, welcome to episode 21. I want to give you an update of where we are. So uh, you could see that I've got uh, most of the 1U4 tube connected at this point. Most of it goes to the uh, IF cans and those connections have all been completed with the exception of this one I need to work on that. So that's that's been done. I have my power section here which I haven't tested yet. Um, the plan with the power section is to now test the resistors. So these are the resistors I'm going to use. There's a 50 ohm and a 5 ohm. And I'm going to mount these somewhere inside the chassis. But first I'm going to just do gator wire tests and make sure the voltages are good. And then this is the part I want to show you here today. So what is that? I'll show you what it is. So this is a metal edging. I'm sorry, it's a plastic edging that has metal inside of it. And it's used to uh, edge, put on the edges of, um, you know, sharp things like sheet metal and stuff. Um, and uh, this is, you know, it's a grip, right? So it works really well. Well, what I'm going to do with it, you'll see it right here. I've taken a piece and I've um, epoxied it to the chassis. So remember that couplet that I, uh, I said I had a problem with? Well, I tested it again and guess what? The couplet's good. So, here it is. So we are going to use our couplet. I didn't test it correctly last time. So we are going to use the original couplet. And the reason why I've epoxied this piece in here is very simple. Let me, uh, let me make sure I get close and show you so you can see what I'm doing. So I know from looking at the schematic that pin 7, which is right here, goes directly to the volume control. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this couplet, I'm going to put it right inside there like this. Just like that. Let me put the camera up and show you from the side angle. Just like that. And that's going to hold that couplet in place exactly where I want it. Okay? And then it's just a question of taking these leads and cutting them short and putting them where they need to be. So this thing is going to be protected. It's going to be um, solid. It's not going to flop around. I have all these wires insulated. Obviously, they're way too long, but that's okay. Because you never know. You can always cut off, but you can't add. Well, you can, but you don't want to. So that's going to be how I handle the couplet. So um, so that's, that's done. And uh, this thing is rock solid. It's not going to go anywhere. Of course, I scored the chassis a little bit before I put the epoxy on there, so it had a good adherence. And, uh, and that's going to be how we handle that. Most of the couplet goes to these two tubes right here. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, so, for example, pin 1 of the couplet goes to pin 6 of the 1U5. Uh, pin 2 goes to the volume pot right here, the, the, the wiper. Uh, pin 3 is a, uh, is, a, is a floating ground. Pin 4 goes to the volume control as well. And pin 5 goes to pin 3 of the 1U5. Pin 6 goes to floating ground. Pin 7 goes to B+. And pin 8 goes to uh, the 3V4 tube, pin 6. And then, of course, there's pin 9, which goes to pin 2 of the 1U5 tube, which is right here. So all this, all this connection stuff is right in this area, basically. There's nothing that goes anywhere past here. So it just makes a lot of sense to throw it where it is. Strip these wires back where I need to, make the right connections. So that's that. So the next step is going to be, after I get, um, I'm not going to connect this couplet yet. So the first thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the uh, power section and see if these resistors are the right ones, if I've got the right values. And um, that's going to be what we do there. Now the way I'm going to be able to judge that is right after the diode, right, it goes into the resistant resistors that I'm talking about. And if all goes well, I should get 6.8 volts going to pin 7 of the 3V4 tube. Right? That's the filament voltage. Right? And it has to pass through a 24K resistor before it does that as well. So basically, um, that's what I'm going to be looking for is that voltage, that 6.8 volts. Right? So that's going to be what I test. So I'll do that and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. One thing I forgot to point out to you, if you remember yesterday I told you that on pin 1 of these tubes I left a piece of hookup wire to use for connections. That's exactly what I did here. There's a uh, 4.7 meg resistor and a, and a cap that go to the IF can here. 
and they call that it goes to pin one of this tube. So all I simply did was put a piece of insulation on that hookup wire, connected both in components with the coil method, and I'm good to go. A little piece of uh, heat shrink on top there to make sure nothing's exposed, and those components are in place. Just wanted to show you that. I'll be doing the same thing with the other tubes. Okay, uh, let me give you an update here. So first of all, in the previous segment I made a mistake. So I told you that I was going to test the resistors and see which ones were right. Completely wrong. I didn't think about that when I said that. I have to have the whole uh, radio built before I can do that, right? I have to have my B+, plus, everything drawing on the current before I can figure out the right resistance. And then what I'm going to do um, for this power resistor is I'm <coughs> going to use like a, a decade box, a uh, power decade box, which I'll show you in a uh, upcoming video when I get to that point. Um, really, really cool tool to have. But just to give you some progress, um, here's our schematic. And you can see all the orange is done. So we're making some, some good progress here. Okay, um, This entire section is done. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is connect the output transformer to the uh, output tube. Um, just a couple of odds and ends I need to do here. Uh, I've got this entire can completed. This one's almost done. And really what I haven't done yet is my, my B plus rail. So I'm going to be working on that next. And then installing the band switch. And there is a band switch on this thing. Right here. And I've cleaned it, soaked it, gotten all the terminals clean. And basically, um, it's a uh, it's a two position switch, so it's band or short wave. Okay, so uh, these three contacts are all together, and it's it's identified on the uh, schematic. So I'll show you when we get to that. But this um, this couplet is pretty much installed with the exception of one wire right here. Sorry, you can't see that. And this one wire goes to my B plus. So that's the only one that's not installed. Everything else is neatly installed right here and goes to these two tubes, okay? I still need to put that 2.2 ohm resistor which is taking place at the filter choke. I haven't gotten that yet. I'm using a wire wound resistor for that. So that's why I haven't done that yet. But I'm really happy with the way this is coming. I've got, you know, looks like about 70% of the radio already done. And I've got very little clutter under here, which is good. This uh, red wire here is going to go to my uh, my B minus or my floating ground. That's going to connect all those components to the floating ground. And this resistor right here, which I've just installed, is a 2.2K uh, resistor that comes off of the IF amp and the can. Okay, I've got a uh, 0 0.1 here going to ground. And I did find a mistake, by the way. If you look at the... Um, schematic here, if any of you ever fix one of these, coming off of this can, they have a uh, 0 0.01 cap showing that it goes to the B- minus rail, but it doesn't, it goes to ground. Okay, and I took, the reason why I know that is I took a look at the original schematic, this is a redraw obviously, um, and it shows that it goes to the B-, minus, but it does go to ground. When I first got the radio, it was going to ground as well. So uh, it goes to chassis ground. So uh, making some real good progress here, and uh, the next step for me is going to be to get the uh, start working on the um, the B plus rail, and the B B plus rail obviously is going to start to lead me to get these connections for these coils, and start working in this general area. So uh, that's going to be the plan. I am going to leave this wire hanging free. Uh, I am going to connect my caps obviously, but this is where gonna, where I'm going to use the decade box to figure out exactly what resistance I need here coming out of this uh, diode. So making some real good progress. I'm really, really happy with the outcome so far. It's very neat, very compact. I love the way that this is working out. This thing is beautiful. It's out of the way. Everything's connected together. It's shielded well. We should be fine. So, uh, so that's the plan. So I think I'm going to uh, post the video now um, because I'm not going to do a lot more today. Um, it's Sunday. Tomorrow's a holiday. I am off for work. So I'll probably do a little bit more tomorrow, but um, we're uh, we're getting there, folks. Anyway, uh, I hope the all of you have have a really great rest of your Sunday, and uh, maybe we'll put a video up tomorrow. We'll see. Everybody have a great day. Bye.